Good morning. Kate LeMay here. Thanks for watching. You're the best. Um, so this morning I want to talk about iterating and improving and like using it as a tool in our lives to get better and better and better and better at what we really want to be doing in the world. So um, I have many big dreams. One is to be, you know, a nationally or internationally recognized world famous artist, right? I want to be a person who is able to rally my community here at the camp to support the facility and, and programmatic changes financially that need to happen to keep this place regenerative for years to come. Those are some two clear big goals. You know, I want to be of highest service, but I also want to enjoy the journey and be present, healthy, and loving in my life and with my family. So like, you know, whatever, those are my, some big ones for me. So in this process, um, there are times when I fail and it's kind of a lot. And I recently, you know, probably because of the year on the road with the retreats, had a lot of clarity about how it ties into my paintings and, and why this is sort of like the way I live, right? So when I paint paintings, there's a row of paintings, say there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have seven rows of seven. So it's 49 little blocks on a piece of paper. And you can imagine, you know, with, um, I make one block and then I move to the next one and I literally am using what just happened to inform what kind of things I might do a little bit different than the next one and a little bit different than the next one. So about midway down the page, you start to see some perfect art. And, and cause sometimes then once I'm perfect to like to hold that perfection, I actually kind of get lazy. Like it's easy at the end and then I lose the best paintings. So, um, there's definitely clarity when you've nailed it, right? You know, you know when you've hit a home run. Either the audience is resonating with it, it becomes the one you put in all the prints, you know, like whatever. So that awareness in art, first it's the painting to painting to painting to painting. The second thing is the layer, right? So say I do a, a layer and then I'm like, ooh, I could really do that better with like a next big layer, right? Like whether I start to add in acrylic or I add in a different color or whatever I'm gonna do. That's like iteration at the next level and then you do it again, you know, like you go painting to painting to painting to painting and eventually you're making the greatest painting somewhere in the middle. Um, so that was sort of my art practice. I was very aware of it, but I didn't actually understand that the practice of me making these sets was actually part of my art. Part of my art is about, definitely about, this is called conscious evolution. And when I apply that to the retreats, it's like you run your retreat, you have reflection, you get you do things differently to get better. The first retreat I ran in New Jersey in 2023 last year, and I came out with a laundry list of things I needed to do better, so much so, that I actually thought about quitting. Like I was like, you are terrible at what you did. It was terrible. And yet like that would not be how most people would describe that retreat. They would have said it was great, um, but it was too full. And I wasn't organized when people checked in. And you know, the list was long of things that I was like aware that could be better. In fact, everywhere I go, I'm looking at what could be better, right? Not out of, not appreciation for the present or gratitude for um, how I'm doing things. It's just like a consciousness. So this practice of doing something and then thinking about it, like take a minute, reflect. Like you could do this with every single thing you do. You could do it with your end of your day. How did all those meetings go? How did your presentations go? and starting to lock in and integrate what you want to be doing differently, not from shaming and blaming, but from the science of conscious evolution. And um, letting go of that guilt, shame, stabbing, like I wanna quit behavior, because that's like me being a toddler, right? Like this recent thing I did, like in, in old Kate, <laughs> I call her old Kate, like, but she would've had like a mental breakdown about how poorly she had done in front of a bunch of people. Like that room was filled with, and I'm not trying to be stereotypical about, but they're lawyers and bankers and um, art, you know, insurance broke, people that own their own companies, 
it just was like a rum of who's who's in this community. And I think they could get more who's who's, right? I'll tell, I would say that in a minute to that group. And when I mean who's who's, I just mean they've navigated success at a level financially that's impressive. And that leverage and clarity could truly help their community if they started to understand more about where they were trying to go and what they were trying to do. I can feel the possibility in the room. And yet I delivered like a crappy, I just didn't nail the job. And, you know, that used to really wreck me. So, um, you know, next time you show up and don't deliver a home run, like this, I just want you to remember iteration and conscious evolution as a core. Don't feed shame and blame because this is for me. Like I'm saying this out loud, so I remember, right? But integrate. Like, take these learnings. Like, I actually have to do more kind of grounding into Kate LeMay. Like, what did I want to take away from that experience? Get yourself in rooms where you are totally the least inept. You are the most inept person in the room. And freaking show up as hard as you can. Because you will learn so much by just being around others that have, like, really leveled up their craft. And try, you know try new things like present at workshops. If you get a chance, say yes, like present. You will not do good your first time, even though you'll do good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like you'll do the best you can in that moment. But I'm just telling you, there's always Lex next levels. Amen. All right. So if you're on the retreat team and you're watching this, just remember that this is a core philosophy in how we're functioning together. And I appreciate you for trying and saying yes and doing your best to not blame and shame, but to iterate inside. And, you know, thank you for your grace with me as I always do this. All right. Hope you all have a great day.